The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. Hey guys, Leon Mookie here, and today I'm doing a new what ifs, and this is for my two my 2,000 subscriber special. This is what if Izuku had a Dragon Slayer quirk. This is part one. So before I started the start the script on here, I asked you guys what kind of well quirk, what kind of well Dragon Slayer ability he. Izuku should have and, mo and most of you wait what am I saying all of you basically told me to give him f become a fire dragon slayer if anything so yeah that's what his so that's the kind of dragon slayer he is so with that said let's get into this shall we guys after during this Izuku Midoriya age 4 does diagnose to have a quirk his quirk fire dragon slayer or yeah or fd fds for short is what izuku can can absorb or eat flames can make flames from his dragon like from his from his skin being dragon scales and is resistant to anything fire fire based that even that even includes explosions, and the rate, and so, and even solar energy as well. As for his weaknesses, he base he's weakened to that he's weakened to being hit with in, things being intense cold or being hit with a high pressure of water. If he's hit by either one of these things while while not being prepared. He's unable to use his flames whatsoever, or it takes time to, for him to, to well generate them at all. As soon after he finds out that this is his quirk, he soon shows it off to almost everybody, even Bakugo, who sees Izuku as a close friend in this what if, but also sees him as quite as a rival as they grow older. As, at the age of 12, Izuku began realizing that he can well manipulate his flames, making any making any attacks that he wants, even create even create dragon-like wings, claws, tails, and even manipulate them to form his flames into that of a sword. So yeah, he's pretty he's pretty proficient with his quirk now, as he even learned. Not only that. To allow him to control his flames a lot more better, he actually his mom basically signed him up for martial for martial arts lessons, being and to and to well respective arts, being karate and judo actually. So he ha so not only that, he's a lot he has a lot more discipline and has a lot more respect for those with honor and ha and also takes hero. Hero work seriously. At, however, to stop it right here, I know what some of you may be thinking: Shouldn't he be stupid or barely well understand anything since he's a fire dragon slayer? As I'm going to say this, no, he's not, because this is still Izuku Midoriya, not Natsu Dragneo for crying out loud. So, if many of you wanted Izuku to be dumb because Natsu is barely smart but is a basically a genius when it comes to, to martial arts and fight and combat, that's not gonna happen. Izuku is still Izuku. So yeah, well, skipping off from that, soon a couple years, more years go by and Izuku notices that Bakugo is being a lot more, well, arrogant, self-centered self and selfish, especially looking down on others about what who have lesser quirks than him or Izuku. As Izuku's training in martial arts and dis and discipline 
basically doesn't condone this and even stands up to his childhood friend. Also, Izuku doesn't have the nickname Deku as the only reason that the title is called Deku is for people who, who are only rem- able to remember him by Deku. However, Izuku's, well, nickname, childhood nickname is actually Ryu instead. And that means in J- Japanese as flying dragon. So yeah, as Bakugo says, what the hell, Ryu? Why the hell are you stopping me? This guy has a worthless quirk and thinks he's better than me. As Izuku saying, no, Kachan, I don't think he's better than you, but you're the one thinking the other way around. Seriously, what, ma- what changed? Why are you being such an arrogant asshole? And Izuku is a lot more assertive, mostly because he has a lot more confidence in himself because he has a quirk. As Bakugo saying, what was that, Ryu, you son of a bitch? You think you can step step up to me and think and think you're going to get away with that? As he prepare as he begins shooting off small explosions in his palm, as Izuku readies his fl- flames in his well left hand, a- and also thanks to one of my subscribe one of my subscribers and during the community poll, and gave me a good idea about Izuku's flames. Instead of them being red, they're actually green. So yeah, the idea came to me when I was writing the script. And one of the comments from the community poll came from one of my subscribers who gave me this idea. So yeah, thanks. I really appreciate it. Black Otaku, you're the man. And with that said, let's get back into this. As me- as a couple of Bakuko's lackeys began feeling, I think we should get out of here as soon as without any warning, both Izuku and Bakugo clashed with a small explosion basically going off in front in front of them. It's a good thing that they were, were outside after all. After this, they both got rep- reprimanded for using their quirks without permission and basically have to do community service for a bit. And, however, what, the boy that Bakugo was bullied basically came up saying that Izuki defended him, so he has less community service than Bakugo. At, with that, their friendship is kind of, well, a little bit, well, rocky now. Due to that, due to that little clash between each other. Soon, but now let's get to their, when they start their first year, their first year as seniors in junior high. As their teacher saying, now, now that you're all seniors, you should all now think about your futures and what you're going to be doing. So I'm going to give you a career test, as he says this, but decides, why bother? All of you want to join the hero track after all, as everyone begins freaking out using their quirks and everything. As Izuku doesn't really bother, while he's just relaxing, reading a book on martial arts techniques and everything like As soon after, while everyone's still cheering, Bakugo soon gives out his typical speech, saying, don't let me in with these losers. They would be lucky to be psychics to some D-rank, vil- D-rank hero after all. As Izuku hears this and thinks, Oh, Kachan, no. As he, as everyone gets pissed off as one of them saying, You think you're better than us, Kotsky? What the hell, man? As he soon jumps onto his desk saying, I'm the only one in this dead in school who's worthy to be a hero. After all, I plan on applying at UA. The only school that's right for me. As everyone hears this saying, the national school? But it has only a 20% pass rate. As soon after, Izuki saying, yeah, but you also forget that I'm going to UA as well, right Kachan? As Bakugo looks at Izuku, with Izuku getting off a little bit of a smile. As Bakugo begins getting pissed off saying, Ryu? You think that you can get into UA better than me? As Izuku saying, no, 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 no. Well, maybe a little. As he, as everyone thinks, okay, I think we should get, I want to get out of here. I don't want them to fight in here. As they remember from last year what happened. As soon after the teacher said, now, now you two, settle down, settle down. You both would be worthy to go to UA, after all. 
You both have amazing grades and your quirks are well are well made as well. So don't let so but if you both act act like you did last year, then you might not. As Izuki saying yes sir, as Baku saying whatever, as they go back to their seats. Soon after, the school the school day ends, and Izuku plans on heading. It plans on heading back home, and doing a little bit of training after he sw- switches out of his school uniform. As Bakugo is waiting outside the hall with a couple of his lackeys, as Izuki saying, "I know you would still be here, Kachan. I know you all too well. So, what you want, man?" As Bakugo saying, "You too." Get out of here. I need to talk to Ryu myself. As the lackey say, but Bakugo, as he screams out, Go, idiots! As they both run, run off. As Bakugo saying, Look, Ryu, I know that our friendship has been a little bit strained since last year. As Izuku saying, When you threatened to hurt a student that, that you thought was beneath you? Yeah, I remember. As saying, but I'm willing to put that aside. I know you're strong and I'm strong. I'm willing to admit that. As Izuku hears this and lets his guard down for a bit, saying, "Wait, is he seriously?" As for him, as he soon loses his train of thought and says, "But that's gonna change when the UA entrance exam comes up next year. Don't you? I am going to be number one there." So you better expect me expect that I'm going to become stronger. As Izuku says, there it is. As he's saying, huh, well, I was really hoping for you to apologize and putting and having our friendship back again. As Izuki's saying, catch you later, Kachan. Just hope you realize that once we get into UA, the two of us, especially you. Won't be the big fish like we are here in junior high right now, because there are way more stronger people in the world than you think. As Yuzuku leaves and Bakugo is getting a little bit annoyed, as saying, "Damn it!" As he realized those words that Yuzuku said were correct, that there are people stronger than him out there. It's the very reason why he needs to get stronger. As Izuku heads heads back home, and no, he doesn't go through the alleyway where the sledge villain would be. The reason being, Bakugo doesn't blow up his hero notebook. And yes, Izuku is still fascinated and curious about heroes and quirks, because since he's going to become a hero, he needs to learn about all the quirks he can and figure out ways to to defeat his opponents or help. Or help out his fellow heroes in the process, because this still is Izuku Midoriya after all. As he finally heads back home, and his mom greets, he basically tells his mom that he's home, and she greet, greeting him as he switches out of his school uniform and into his training gi, and heads out to do his daily training, where he basically trains with his quirk constantly. Try to increase the heat and temperature, what because sometimes his quirk can overheat his can overheat his skin, causing him to burn, burn accidentally burn himself in the process. But while he's increasing the heat, his dragon skin becomes way much more stronger than stronger. And while he's training, he soon hears a voice saying, "Well, if it isn't Midoriya." It's been a while, hasn't it? As he soon turns around and sees a guy with tons of piercings around his face and a long jet black hair with a bandana. As Izuku notices him, no, remembers the voice and says, "Hey, G- Gajio, it's been a while." As Gajio saying, "Yo, I haven't seen you since we st- since you stopped coming by the dojo. How you been?" As Izuku saying, "I've been doing great. I still keep on training, but and keep up my discipline." As Gajio saying, "Still the devoted little little student you are." As Izuku saying, "Well, you could be too if you don't if you're 
if we don't always get pissed off our sensei, as Gaji was saying, I do not, as Suku gives a little bit of a smug ass smile and says, okay, maybe you're right. <laughs> as soon after, the two begin laughing. As Gaji says that, so, you plan on applying at UA? Same. If we both go to UA, we might go in the same class, or possibly even rival classes. Who knows? As Izuku saying, yeah, you're kind of right. You're pretty much right. But I don't plan on losing. I want to become a hero. A hero just like All Might. A hero that smiles in the face of danger. That's the kind of hero I want to be. As guys are saying, <laughs> I forget that you're quite the All Might fanboy. But I don't blame you. He is number one. He's been number one for so many years. It's hard not to idolize the, idolize the man. But even so, as the, as the years go by, the next the next generation can grow even stronger and stronger, making a way for the new generation. Just remember that you can't idol you can't idolize an old hero for so long. You won't be able to make your own future. As Gaggio says this and leaves, as Izuku hears, keeps having those words in his head, thinking that me worshiping All Might completely isn't the right thing. Soon after, years have gone by, and Izuku began training even more and more, as he developed, as he developed a, a new fighting style for his well quirk that he calls, well, the Emerald Lotus style. And, and yes, it's a parody of the of Natsu's Crimson Lotus. Since Izuku's flames are green, of course I'm calling them Emerald Lotus, so yeah. Where he learns new, new techniques called Exploding Flame, Phoenix Wings, and Phoenix Sword Slash, and, and grows even stronger. Where soon after, he arrives, at UA's entrance. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm making part two is right now, so I'm glad glad that you were able to stay for my special. At any rate, this is Leon Mookie signing out. Later.